Hey guys, this is Gortober. The last two days, and I'm doing scars and experiment. I'm once again drawing my OC Kikyo, and the reason I'm putting the last two days together is because I figured that they kind of go together fairly well. While drawing this one, I wanted to get a sense of like helplessness in the character since it's experimentation but then also the scars and stuff to add in just as if like everything is going wrong the topic of discussion today is going to be accepting criticism and not judging yourself too harshly as we all know an artist is their own worst critic and it's hard to not look at what you're making and think that it's the worst thing ever. Even if you think that it's something bad that you've made, it's always good to keep the worst drawings that you've done. It gives you something to look back on and it lets you look at the things that you want to improve on. A lot of the things that I make, I don't like. I would say probably about 95% of the drawings I've made throughout my entire time drawing, I do not like them, but I still keep them because of the fact that I can look back at them and I can take the things that I do think look nice and then the things that I don't like I can leave out of my future drawings. The other thing is Accepting criticism from other people can be a little bit difficult, as we all know. Some people don't know how to give criticism, and it's more destructive than help. Destructive criticism would be someone who isn't actually telling you ways to improve. It helps to know what they see is wrong, but it would be nice if anyone who gives criticism could also find the things that they like about the drawing. That way they know the person who made it knows what they are doing. I have a little role whenever I'm giving criticism. I try to find two things wrong, and then one thing that I really like. But whenever I find a thing that is wrong with the drawing, I try to give an example or a way that the person can improve on that one thing. To me, the only time that someone should not be accepting criticism is if it's destructive. But the issue with that is a lot of people get so defensive about it, they either just ignore all criticism together or they just kind of backlash like they attack the person back you see this a lot online for me I know that I need to improve my anatomy and I need to learn how to color better because I kind of get lazy and I don't care if I go outside the line sometimes. Which is why I like to make the thicker outline at the end of my drawings. My other issue that I know I have is I need to learn how to expand my color choice. I normally like to stick with saturated and darker colors. And I tend to stick, stay away from like greens and yellows. I normally use them as more accent colors than actual parts of the drawing. Other things is I'm pretty sure that I suffer from the whole same face syndrome thing. You know, where all of your characters have like the same face shape. And I am trying to get out of that a little. It's just, it's something that you have to practice constantly. I also am trying to learn how to do more dynamic poses with my human character, but 
that as well takes a lot of time and effort. So at least I know I'm trying to learn. And that's all that I can say matters at this point. To me, as long as you're trying to put in the effort, that's what matters. Learning different things always can change and help you in the long run. It makes you more marketable to other people and customers. If you're not trying to do art for a job or whatever, learning new techniques and learning how to do different things can help you yourself because it makes you realize, yeah, I learned this on my own. Someone didn't force me to do it. It just shows that you have the motivation to do it. And sometimes that's all you need to keep yourself going. Me personally, I actually enjoy giving criticism and receiving it. It just helps me learn what I need help with. But other people, sometimes they just don't accept it. Whether it's because they're young and just starting out, it could be anything. But some people just don't. And let them not have it. It's their issue if they don't want to improve. Because the best criticism, honestly, is the most harsh sometimes. But it's also the most truthful. I would like to hear your guys' opinion on people give criticism and receive it. So please leave that all in the comment section below. And I'll figure out how I'm going to continue my little speed draws and speed paints. In the next few videos, I'll see what I can do. See you guys.